Hello everyone, wherever you are. This is Christopher Morgan, and I'm going to be demoing the Stave Maps application for ServiceNow. For those of you who've worked with ServiceNow, you realize that integration with Google Maps is nothing new. So I'm here in the Critical Incidents map, which is part of the, the default incident application. And I can see where these incidents are coming from geographically on the map based on the value of the location field. You're probably also aware that in order to build and configure the maps in ServiceNow today, you have to write some code. So you need to peel back the hood, go into the glide record area, and write some substantial JavaScript in order to be able to define these maps and configure them the way that makes sense for your organization. So quite a bit of coding involved here, and for some reason, there's a lot of people out there that don't want to spend their time writing a lot of JavaScript. That's where the Stave Maps application comes in. So, here I've got a very similar map. I'm looking at Google Maps with assets overlaid. These are corporate assets. I've had them split up, databases, computers, and software, and I'm just seeing how they're located. What we've added in Stave Maps is the ability to also show that same data on top of an Esri map. So Esri is the market leader in commercial GIS solutions. I believe they have something like 60% of the marketplace, and a lot of organizations are heavily invested in the Esri platform and tools, and you can do some really interesting things within the platform. So this takes that data from ServiceNow and overlays it onto the Esri ArcGIS online platform. You can see it's the same, Google Maps, Esri, Google Maps, Esri, Google Maps, Esri. It makes perfect sense. Uh, you just have a different option in map providers. What you can also do with Esri, though, is really take your maps to the next level. So if it's important for you to understand how sea routes and highways might affect your logistic operations in Southeast Asia and Australia, you're certainly able to do those capabilities in Esri as well. If I just go into the Stave Maps application here and click on my map definitions, so I should mention at this point, Stave Maps is a scoped and certified application. It's available on the ServiceNow store and it's certified in Fuji, Helsinki, and Geneva and any subsequent releases. What it allows me to do is quickly and easily define these, these maps. So I'm going to drill into the first one we looked at, which was our IT assets on Google Maps. And you'll notice here, instead of having to write any JavaScript, I simply set a few settings and then link to the data that I'd like to display, including any custom icons. So I'm looking at computers, databases, and servers in this case. And I can drill into any one of those. So let me drill into databases here. And all I'm doing is selecting the table that I want to look at and the field that is going to hold the location or the latitude and longitude data. I can also peel back the hood a little bit and configure what the tooltip is gonna to look like to my heart's content. So in this case, I've customized the tooltip I'm going to have the display value showed. Well, it's going to say the word database and then the name of the database, and then it's going to include a link to view the record. And I've just picked an interesting little uh, database icon to, uh, to show that. And that's it. That's all I needed to do in order to define this entire map. No, no coding, no JavaScript, just point and click to build that. And this is what you get. This is that map we looked at. So let me zoom in a little bit here just to get a better picture of what's going on in Southern California, where I happen to be located. And I can see that, yes, I have a database. Actually, I have three databases in Phoenix here. And I can view that record and drill into that, update it, go to it, whatever I'd like to do. Again, I'm investigating. Just close that out there. Close that customizable tooltip. And it looks like I got a lot of computers over here. I'm really more interested in the servers. So what we've also built in are additional capabilities of Google Maps, such as heat maps and clustering. Let's talk about clustering first. And let me cluster those computers just to get them out of the way. And I can see, oh, well, there's 32 in the north part of the county and 125 here. Let me click on that to zoom in a little bit more. You can configure these settings, but now it's broken up into smaller groups. Let's click on the five and drill in further. And then let's see what's going on with the five records that are IBM ThinkPads in this case at the copy center location here at the library. Same feature, I can drill in, look at the actual uh, details of the record. This is pulling data straight from the CMDB, so centralized data source. 
No need to integrate. The integration with the uh, Stave Maps and the rest of the platform is already done for you. As you can see that, and close that out, and let me zoom out again. And the great part is, the same thing works on the Esri map. So I just lost control of my mouse there, but let me zoom into California a little bit more and we'll click on one of the assets. Again, we're able to see our records and drill into the records as necessary. The UI is just the default for the Esri looking field compared to Google. So that's great. Let's go into a different type of map. I'm gonna go back into the state maps application and look at my uh, definitions. And let's look at an employees and incidents map. So this would be a great map if I'd want to see where the most critical parts of my business are located, and that's the people and, and probably some expensive equipment. And I'm able to show the multiple data sources you know, from different tables here. In this case, it's sysuser and incident. So it's not like the previous map, which uh, looked at different classes of CDB. There's completely different tables in service now. I can click that UI action and go into this map here. And here we go. Now this is the, con the consistent uh, kind of Google Maps look and feel that your users are familiar with. Let's drill into the Northeast. It looks like there's a lot going on in New York. And I can see that there's an incident. And then I can also see some of my employees, my users there. Let's go back to our map list here. And let's see where we can really take that to the next level with an Esri map. So when Esri allows you to configure different map applications in their online tool. So what I'm going to do now is go into the ArcGIS platform from Esri. And this is a mapping platform that allows me to build and configure custom maps and overlay layers and other important information. And I can save them and share them across my organization. So that's what I've done in this case. I created a base map and I used the kind of the map style topography map and I overlaid some data. And in this case, I'm overlaying data that's provided from the state of California that's accurate wildfire data and world transportation, which are all the roads and highways that we use every day. So I've created this map and I've shared it, I've made it public, and it gives me what they call a, a web map ID. When I go back into Stave Maps, I'm going to reference that map and view it here. So this is really a really cool feature, you know, for those business cases that are a little bit different. So this would be crisis management, but you're able to see at a glance where your people are and drill into them and see data about the people and where these wildfires might be happening. I'm going to go back to that first tool tip and just show you that, uh, um, Yes, this one. So if there's multiple data points, uh, you can scroll through the tool tips as well. It's a neat feature. But anyway, you can see where these wildfires are happening, where your people are, and oh, by the way, maybe you can communicate to the person the best route to get to safety so they're not affected by this. It's just an example of being able to take your map and GIS capabilities to the next level within ServiceNow. Let's go back into my map definition. Let's go into the main data center and heat map problems. And this is, this is a, another map that we developed that I want to talk about, the heat maps. So in this case, it's showing a Google map that's showing the four main data centers that we have. And we've got one in California, one in Phoenix, and off to the screen, we've got one in Miami and one in New York. And overlaid on the you know, data center icons here is a heat map of the problems. So a heat map is that that colored uh, circle area there, and it's letting me know the intensity of the problems based on their proximity. So what that really lets me do is at a glance, if I'm the data center manager here, I can see that California's data center is probably where I need to be sending my resources and spending the most time because the heat map is most intense at that data center. You notice there's no problems in Phoenix. There's a couple in New York and a couple in Miami, but not like the red and orange, which indicates you know more intensity, greater intensity that we're seeing there. It's very easy to define and configure those. So if I go back into the map record in the application, I'm able to set different values for the heat map 
or you can take Google's default values and set your initial settings like what the zoom level is going to be and where the uh, the center of the map is going to start out. You really have full control over what's going on with the data here. Now I picked problems just as uh, an example. You could do the same with any table in the ServiceNow platform that has a location field. So there's a lot of customization capabilities that you can do and really the sky's the limit. Back in Maps application, another great feature is the ability to search. Now right now this is an Esri only feature, but it incorporates a search bar at the top of the map here. You'll also notice in this map the uh, icons are different, so you have complete control over what the icons look like. We saw the database icon, we saw the computer, the little person. This is a default dot, dot and maybe I'll search for something like web, and it'll bring up the incidents on this map that match that search criteria. Another great feature of the platform is there's organizations that do use both mapping platforms, and to go back and forth with the same data is extremely simple. So this is a map that is showing HR users and some work orders and some other data, and it's currently uh, using the Esri map. If I wanted to make that Google, I would just change the field, I'd save it, and now it's live. If I view the map, it's gonna be showing me that data on top of the uh, Google map. Maybe you don't believe me, so I'll go back, put it back to Esri, Simple save, view the map, and this is the Esri style map with the same icons overlaid uh, on the platform. For customers using Stave Maps, there's no limit on the number of maps that you create in the platform, so it's just licensed for the entire instance family. Now, Stave Maps is available uh, on the ServiceNow store. You can check out our website, stavemaps.com. We've got a product page that gives a little bit more information about the tool as well. And if you visit the store and search for Esri Maps, you're able to see the application. Now you can try it and install it in one of your sub-production instances, or you can request a demo here. And this takes an hour or so, but you'll get an email that will give you credentials and a link to a separate standalone sandbox instance that has Esri Maps installed where you'll be able to, to play around and use it for a full 30 days. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Stave Maps or any of the other ServiceNow applications that we've made at Stave, feel free to drop us a line. And wherever you are, have a great day.